So I've just got them four colours, not a lot of paint. So here we go. All right, let's figure out what I want to do with this sky. So I'm I'm still using the same brush. Um, let's start off with some yellow ochre. And we're just gonna dash some color in the sky. Maybe a bit there. Just throwing some paint on and then we'll do some blending. And we'll throw some we'll throw some same sort of colours down here just to because I know I'm gonna have some water down there, so we want some kind of reflections. Don't know quite what yet, but at least there's some there ready. Chris, I love art. I'm only a kid, so I want to get better and better at art. Uh, June Berry, how are you doing? Just tuned in, looking forward to tonight's painting. Very nice to have you here. Very nice. Do keep tapping the screen for me, guys, if you can. I know it's a bit of a pain, but it helps. Helps a lot. And share if you can. Okay, so we've got some colour. Let's put a bit over here. Okay, now let's go into some, let's go into a touch of, just a touch of crimson. It's a very strong colour, this. So literally just a touch, I'm literally a couple of hairs and I'm there. We're gonna have, we're gonna have some mountains, I think. I'm gonna do some more mountains. Let's bring some of that across. Make a nice sort of, I don't know, like an evening sky. Let's do some touches down here. Some interesting colours. And let's just go with a little touch of red. And again, that's very powerful. Very powerful red. And then we'll go into some phalo blue. Okay. Right, let's go into some phalo blue. And we'll just uh I don't want it quite that blue, so I'm going to dull it down with a little bit of black. All right, let's try and read some comments. Uh, June Berry, yes, so I'm feeling a lot better tonight. Yeah, I was quite tired last night, but it ended up quite a nice painting. Uh, always admit, let's see what you pull off this evening. How you doing? Uh, Jamie says, Chris, art, you'll continue to get better and better the more practice. I bet your art is great. Yeah, just keep going and going and going. Going and going and going. I want a bit of a darker blue than what I had there, so I'm just gonna black and blue, black and blue. I've just mixed there on the board. I think that's gonna be more like the color I want. Now I'm just doing it in lines rather than crisscross because it doesn't really matter with this one. Putting some colour on. Let's put some down here as well. Some nice colours there. Some sort of evening sort of colours. Jamie the Slug, how are you doing? I got your message. 
Um, you wanted to buy last night's painting, which is great. Um, I followed you back on TikTok. Um, I did send you a message, but it didn't go through. It says something to do with your um, your privacy settings, so maybe check that out. But remember, if, if you can't read my message, then um, if you don't change your settings on TikTok, then you can always email me, which is, you'll find the link underneath my profile picture on TikTok. So go and check that out. And yeah, I'm glad you're not too late too. Uh, Duncan Lung, you're up early. Yeah, a bit of an early start tonight. Let's, I just noticed, let's put a bit of blue in there. Okay, so we'll blend this out now. I think I'll just use the brush that I've got. Just clean it off a little bit. Yeah, okay, Jamie the Slug, yeah. But yeah, you, if you, you want that paint, then we can sort that out. So let's just blend this out. I'm gonna go down a little bit as well. Let's just move this out of the way. I think that's as high as it goes actually, but just so I can get my brush in there. Look at that. It's one of the most enjoyable things of this process, is blending of the sky, or the northern lights and stuff like that. Just like that, we got a colourful, colourful sky. So this bit, we'll have some water down here, so. And some foliage and some trees. Well, I'll try and keep up with the uh, thingy. The, anticip the anticipation of the end result I find it very exciting. Me too. I just hope it goes well. <laughs> um, Jamie, I'll do that tomorrow probably. Okay, buddy. I love how it looks before it's blended also, like seeing the brush lines. Yeah, absolutely. Love seeing more people from last night's stream here again. Oh, is there more people from last night's stream? That's good. Last night was mad. That's good. It's all to do with um, commenting, keep pressing the likes and sharing if you can down the bottom. You can share and just press the copy link and that's it. You don't really need to send it to anyone. So that's a, a little thing to, a little thing you can do to help. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with that. Just gonna pull down a little bit on some of them, just to blend. I think I need a little bit of dark in it, to be honest. Just a bit more dark, bear with me, guys. I just feel like there should be a bit more dark on them clouds. Uh, yeah, sort of up here. So I'm just gonna try and just put a little bit of dark and then blend that out again, just to give it a bit of like contrast. Yeah, I think that looks better. Gives a little bit of contrast. We shall just go across again.
but this bit's very shiny for me so it's hard for me to see there so I have to sort of bend my head round the uh, phone that's um, rec you know streaming this and then I just have a look from the side but it's okay yeah I think that's a little bit better a little bit darker Right, let's throw some mountains in. I'm gonna make a nice sort of colour for the mountains. Um, way, we got five shares, I think. Love seeing more people from last stream. Yeah, got that. Oh, 15 shares. I can see five on my screen. That should do for now. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for doing that, guys. Right, I'm gonna go grab a bit of white. Hopefully, you can see my uh, palette down here, just about. Just gonna make up a sort of brownie colour for this um, for these sort of mountains. So that's just a little bit of brown. Let's just add a little tiny bit of crimson in there. Maybe a bit more. like a ready sort of bit more brown yeah that's quite nice it's like a sort of clay sort of brown we'll just go with that and see what happens okay here we go a little roll of paint on there Love the mountains. Yeah, I, like, I, I enjoy doing mountains and I keep doing them because I want more practice. So I'm gonna do some sort of jaggy kind of mountains. Let's do a couple here. These sort of background ones. We'll just do some faint background ones here. Maybe they're in the distance a bit. So I'll just leave that one there for now. And then we'll have some one that goes up here maybe let's make some real sort of jaggy ones tonight yeah look some different kind of mountains tonight So just put the shape on really with this, and then as you know. Right, I'm really pushing that in the canvas now. Now I've got my sort of shape, just pushing hard into the canvas. That can go off there somewhere. We'll just grab the brush. So what's everyone been up to today? Working, school, day off. So just putting these down now. make them sort of light in the background these ones so so they're really sort of faded been touching up oh right you've been touching up a piece i did last evening message go through now thank you very much jamie okay I'll, after live i'll send you a message 
I had a job interview this in the morning, college after, then work after. Oh cool, how did the job interview go and, and what was it? You don't have to tell me, but it, you can if you want to. <laughs> right, I'm gonna make some dark. I'm gonna do some, um, I'm gonna do some, I normally do the highlights the mountain first, but I'm gonna do the dark, I'm gonna do the low lights first on this one. I'm gonna make a sort of dark color. Oh yeah, this is looking nice. That's like a sort of bluey gray. So. Yeah, I'm gonna do some different kind of mountains tonight. So, let's just scrape some down here. So it looks a bit weird because I'm doing it sort of back to front, but. Um, what's your opinion on pineapple pizza? I don't mind. I don't mind pineapple pizza, but I don't tend to have it. I normally have like hot stuff now, which I've really recently got into. It was just for a casino. They offered me a position, but I had to turn. Oh no, okay. Because the fish position was back shift, so I'd have to get tax. Ah, oh, right, yeah, you don't want all that. I've actually never had pineapple on pizza, but they're both delicious, so it must be good. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind um, pineapple on pizza. I really don't. But I don't, like I said, I never really have it. I very rarely have it. But I had a pizza last night, um, and it had like chicken tikka, jalapenos, pepperoni, um, I think it was like onions, peppers, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I really, I really liked it. I found it quite nice. I only had half it, it was any pizza, any size, so half it's in the, um, <laughs> half it's in the freezer. I don't mind heating it up. I think sometimes it can taste better, like heat it up afterwards as well. So, Okay, so I've got that on there. Let's just... So, again, let's try and create a little bit of mist with this. I'm gonna put some highlights on all of it now, basically. This is the tiniest little brush. <laughs> tiniest little brush. Just go back to the Go back to the big brush. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some white and start putting some highlights on. Okay, so I've got a question for everyone. Since we're talking about food, I'll try and catch up with the comments first. Margarita, yeah, sounds nice. It's, isn't margarita cheap? Plain cheese sort of thing, but it's just nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can hardly handle Nando's medium. I don't know how you manage. Did you say jalapeno or jalapeno? I, I said jalapeno, it's jalapeno. I make up words and I go with all different kinds of words. So you just have, you'll get used to my lingo. I did say jalapeno. Just 
Okay. All right, let's put some snow on. Let's put some snow on the mountains. So, got real thick paint here. This, I'll tell you what, the white, the white paint that I've got is very thick compared to the other ones and they're all the same brown. All right, let's see if we can drag some snow on. It's an interesting process, this one that I'm still learning to master. Oh yeah, I hit the bottom of the board there, let me move this. I found a way that I can do it, which is just literally dangerously hanging on the edge and then clamp it in position. So, hopefully it'll stay there. <laughs> oh yeah, my question for you guys. Is the part of the doing question? Yeah, Marco, it's just cheese. Yeah, I thought it was. Barbecue base is a real deal. That oh yeah, barbecue base. Yeah, when I have, uh, sometimes I ask, I just ask for that, basically. Uh, any pizza that they've got, I'll say, oh, can I just have barbecue sauce on it to begin with? Very lightly. Put a nice blob of snow up there. Oh yeah, my question for you guys. What's the weirdest the weirdest combination of food that you like, like two foods together that really you don't hear are going together, but pe but you put them together basically. Oh, stuffed crust is well nice, well nice. Right. So this side is all sort of dark, this side. And I've still put some light highlights and stuff on there, but. comes swooping round, swooping round. Just wanted to get a little bit of a more defined, defined little line there. Put some little sauce 
sort of highlights, I think of like a bit of dark blue and a little bit of white, I think. Yeah, I think that's kind of the colour I want. So, let's have a look at these comments. Okay, grilled cheese and pickle sandwich. That sounds interesting. It works really well, sweet and savoury taste. This is like ASMR, Bob Ross and better. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so my one is, okay, are you ready for this? Scrambled eggs, like on toast, but with strawberry jam. <laughs> Honestly, don't knock it until you tried it. My mate said, ugh, it's disgusting. He stayed around my house and I made it for him. And he was like, actually, that's all right. But again, again, it's like sweet and savory, isn't it? So, you know. I've knocked up the tiniest little bit of blue here. I'm just doing these little lines in here. <laughs> okay. Grated cheese, grated apple and toast is good too, but I had a bit of flour to soak up the cheese. Wow, that's an interesting one. Grated cheese and apple, wow. Oh, or grated, I can imagine it working actually. Actually, I like apples with salad cream. Yeah. I like, yeah, there's lots of weird combinations. I, when I was younger, we used to go in the, like proper young, we used to go in the kitchen and just make all sorts of stuff. Can you see that on there, guys? A bit of dark highlight. I've knocked up the tiniest little paint, so I'm learning not to not to use too much paint now and trying to make everything sort of last, you know. We'll just have a little bit down here. Okay, maybe a bit of blue for this blue colour down here. And then I'll miss that out, so just so the colour's there. Then we can put a little bit up there. I never used oils, might have to give them a go. Yeah, do, it's fantastic. Oils for blending, if you haven't seen some of my stuff, on my channel do have a look after the live because it's amazing what you can do with oils so I started with obviously um, uh, wet uh, I painted the canvas in white gesso let that dry which is like an acrylic and then I put a liquid magic white on so I'm painting wet on wet at the moment basically we'll just put a little blue a little bit of blue in there. So I've got a bit of an old rugged mountain for a background. That's kind of cool, I think. What are you guys thinking about these mountains? It's different, aren't they? Very different. Right, let's create this mist. Cheese and ham crepes, oh, that sounds nice. Also like hot dogs with ketchup in crepes. Oh yeah, that sounds all right. Does anyone like the, um, the, um, like burger pizzas? So we've got a nice little bit of mist there going on. So you can just blend it out and create some nice mist to the bottom of the mountains. 
This is why I like oil paints. The blending, the way you can get mist. Absolutely love it. I'm quite happy with them. What I use to clean my brushes, I just literally use something called brush cleaner. I get a big one. It's a colour. There's a, a shop down near me that I go in quite regularly um, for you know, and uh, I just use a big bottle of that. It's like white spirit, but it's actually called brush cleaner, and I prefer it. I prefer it. I want to keep these very faint at the back there. I think that's just enough, just so you can barely make out. You can barely make out. The actual where the line finishes and the oops, well, I just sort that a little bit out. There we are. I'm just going to stand back and have a look at these, see if I'm happy. Cool, yeah, they look alright actually. From a distance, they look even better. They really do. It's very quiet on here tonight, so we've got 10 people. We need more likes and more shares. There's only a few of you, so you've got a lot of hard work to do. <laughs> What's a burger pizza? Okay, so it's like, um, um, yeah, basically it's got um, little pieces of burger on, or beef, and then it's got burger sauce drizzled all over it with um, gherkins. Quite nice actually. What makes of oils would be good for a good you know? Well I use this make and I get them from Amazon. If you look underneath my profile picture on TikTok, if you click up there, underneath my profile picture there's one link and that link will take you to wonderful places and you can buy the paint that I use and everything like that. It's all sort of listed there, so hopefully that'll help you out. We're at 4.9 thousand likes. 18 shares. Yeah, like the Domino's ones have. Yeah, I quite liked it. And there's a few places like independent um, places that do it as well now. And you can also buy it in shops. So, yeah. All right, let's think about some trees and stuff like that. So, I've got some, I might try and use up this color that I've got at the mountains. Um, add some crimson in there. Make sort of a lavender-y colour. We might add a little bit of brown to that. Actually, it's quite a nice colour as it is. It's a quite nice colour. We'll see how that goes on. Okay, now, now you're gonna laugh, guys. You see this? Yeah, this is out of my kitchen drawer. It's a, I think it's called a basting brush, but I'm gonna try it out because it's round. I thought that might be good for doing some little bushes. So this could go terribly wrong or it could go right. So I'm gonna lay out some bushes where I think sort of bushes would be. So <laughs> this is a new one. We're mixing cooking and uh, painting together. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I like the feel of it. Let's think where we want some bushes in. Oh yeah, look, see that look, that works all right. I'm happy. Wow. So now I'm just gonna lay out some. Um, some places where I think bushes would be and some trees. Maybe we'll have some, a big tree up here. Look at that, who, who would have thought a cooking brush, eh? Would do such a fantastic job. So this is just background stuff here. And we can have, oh, I've got, I've got a hair though. Is this making you laugh, guys? 
<laughs> right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, please do share and keep commenting, um, keep tapping the screen. Thanks, I really appreciate it, guys. I do, I do. It must be, it's not a fantastic job to keep doing, but... Uh, Grace, yeah, it's a pasty brush. Haha, <laughs> nice. I think those bristles will be great. Yeah, I know. I thought, I looked at it and I thought, I'm going to give it a go. Penny, looks great. Thank you. Lovely colour too. Yes. I was just using the colour of the mountains and I added a bit of crimson to it. So this is going to be background, sort of, you know. Let's get this nasty hair off here. But I like the way this sort of gives that little effect. You don't know till you try. Just goes to show. Let's have... So we'll, let's plan this. So we'll have, we'll have some water down here. We'll have some land there, some more bushes. Maybe a, another one there. Let's do some trees this side. We can put, put this in and then, I don't want to cover up too much of the mountain. But yeah, just dot in where, so this is like background color of trees and foliage. Let's have a bit coming down there. I'll just throw, throw some on. So just planning this out really. And down here, we'll have some down here. I'm just going to use, literally run out, nearly run out of this colour. But yeah, look, I'm, I'm being good. I'm using all the paint, learning how to use the paint. So, just putting some colour on, I can add some more. I think I've sort of used all that now. So that gives us a bit of a, a bit of a thing now where things are gonna be. No, I'll try and read some, uh, awesome, thank you, Grace. If you get a big enough, you will do social media full time. I'd love to do a painting every day. I, before I come on in here, I was working it out, right? Before I came in here, I had to put the heating on for like an hour, because I'm sat in the summer house. So I've got the cost of that, each live stream, obviously in the in the winter. Then the cost of the canvas and all the stuff. I think it cost me about, after working it all out and the paints and that, I think it does cost me about 20 pound, 15 to 20 pound to make a painting if you was going to add up everything but yeah that's why I'd love to do it every day but I don't think I'll ever get to a stage where I can do that my brother was talking about um, patreon or something where people sort of help you out so that would that would be nice but I, I really started this as a hobby and it, it still is a hobby and it's nice to sell some paintings it really is um, because it, it just really helps out and, and the, most, most, the most thing is I'm having fun. I really, really like it. But if you sell the guest profit, yes, I do obviously make a little bit of profit. And the ones I don't sell, well, the thing is the ones I don't sell, you see what I mean? So I need to sell a lot of them, but I've sold, I think I've sold about seven now seven but I'm getting better and people will want them as I'm getting better I think so um thank you so much for the gift I think someone just sent a gift I really appreciate gifts thank you I confess at my old age I don't know which is the like and the share button is if I knew I'd do it ah oh. so June Berry all you have to do is tap your screen and it should send a heart um, the like button is like a little heart over here, but you can just tap your screen, I think double tap. And down the bottom corner, there should be a share button. You can press that and then literally just press copy link. And that's it. You don't have to send it to anyone, but you can do it by text or whatever. Right, let's knock up some, let's knock, knock up some colour. Do you know what? That brush worked really well. I'm happy with it. Right, I'm just cleaning the brush. Plus you give others a nice hour of peacefulness. Oh, thank you, that's very kind, thank you. So we've got actually 107 shares, but it's actually really quiet on TikTok tonight by the looks of it. Normally, that many shares, you'd have quite a lot of people in here. 
I think we got up to 750 people. Maybe, maybe it's the likes, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if to use this one or, I'll try the fan brush for a little while. No, I won't, I'll try. Actually, maybe I'll just try this brush out and just see. So I'm gonna get some yellow ochre. I will use the fan brush in places though. Get some, yeah, let's get some yellow ochre out. Some sap green. And we've got some red on the board already. We'll make some nice little colours and a little bit of paint thin I think helps a lot. So I'm just going to go into that. And of course some yellow. Yeah, there's lots of things when you're painting. You've got like paint thinners, you've got liquid clear, magic clear, um, magic white, you've got gesso, white, black gesso. There's so much that you can, um, you know, that you have to buy. And 10K likes, let's go. Thank you, Jamie, much appreciated. Back, my phone died. Oh, Jamie, nice to have you back. Let's just see if we can put a bit of color on these. I think I'll use a different brush, but I feel like I need to use a different brush, so I'm gonna and thin some paint down. Let's get some yellow on the board. And we'll do some little little highlights and stuff for this. Just putting all sorts of little bushes in now. Try making this one a bit sort of colourful, I think, with different sort of greens and. some more yellow ochre. Yellow, when you're using yellow for something like this, um, you go through it so quickly because it the yellow just turns to green because you're you're in the green and the, and the yellow just sort of goes straight into it. So I'll we'll just do some little, get some colour on there to begin with. And let's get a little bit of green. Just dab on there. Let's just put, let's make that one a bit greener. This one here. Another little green one there. Maybe that one at the end. Well, we'll do some like um, reflections in a minute in the water, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so I might just do that top bit now and see what happens. 150 shares keep going guys. Oh thank you. Yeah I don't think the uh, viewers are going up though which is very strange. Love the shape of the background mountains tonight. Yeah I'm quite happy with them. There's some really sort of ruggy mountains. Okay so I'm just going to pull down here and just do some little reflections. I can just put a little bit of land in after this as well. Just pulling some of that down. I can add some of um, some of that sort of bushy colour there as well. So if I can get enough off, because I use so much of it. So I'm just 
So that bushy colour. Just pull straight down. put like um I think the mountain is too far away for a reflection like in the actual that part of the water so I'm not too worried about that just needs a bit more colour there that's better you can sort of see now so you've got a bit of reflection there. We'll add some water lines in and all sorts of stuff. Right, let's think about doing these trees. Um, where's my little brush? I'm gonna use this, I'll tell you what, let's put some. Grace, right, that one in the forefront has such an amazing shape. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm glad you guys are happy with it. I want you to try something different. Obviously you've got the dark side of the mountain and the light side of the mountain. It's all playing with different colors there. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm glad that you're happy with it, guys. Right, what should I do now? Let's put some twigs and we'll get some brown out. I've got some white, yep, yeah, I'll get some brown. If I can find it. Had it somewhere. That's good, is that burnt umber? Yeah, I've got some burnt umber. We'll put some little, a few little trees in. Okay, so I'm gonna go with some brown. We'll just put some little tree trunks in. You don't need a lot of, you don't really need, you don't really see a lot of these, but they're, they're there for when, you know, when you put the highlight on top, you see parts, parts of these. So, you can have some there. Just bits of, bits of twigs that you might see once you put the highlights on top, twigs showing through. And even, you can even, I'll go into the paint thinners again. I'm using paint thinners here, just to thin some of this down, because when you're using this, when you're using, say I've got a brownie white now, but that's okay. So I'll just put some, see how runny that is? So I'll use thinners, roll it round into a sharp point, and you can put highlights on the side of these. And that just helps. Like I say, we'll be going over these in a moment. And you won't see a lot of them. But when you get that little bit of poking through, it just looks good. Um, yeah, I'll leave that. I think we'll. I'll, I think that'd be okay for them trees. Right, I'll try to read up the comments. Okay, I think I'm up to date with the comments. How many paints have you made in total? I think it's around fifty, Jamie. Yeah, around fifty. I think it's around fifty. It's got to be. Okay, so. Let's make some highlight colour. Now I'm going to use, I've got a rounded brush here that I like using. So I'm just going to, I'm still getting used to this. I think I'm going to go with something like that. Dab into a bit of yellow. Let's see if I can do this here. I like the way that rounded brush does that. I haven't seen anyone, I haven't even seen, I didn't, I've never seen Bob Ross use do this. I came up with this last, one of my last streams and I thought, 
I just like the way that you get them like hangy down bits. So this is my own little, um, I mean probably someone's done it, but it's my own little creation. Okay. Let's go into some ochre here. Let's, let's just dab a little bit of red. Tiniest bit of red there. Let's see if we can do, oh, that's nice. Going into the yellow, I'm mixing three colors here. I've got some yellow and I'm gonna let a little bit more brush cleaner, uh, not brush cleaner, some paint thinner, sorry. I just wanna thin it down a little bit because the thin paint sticks to the thick paint and it really does make a difference. So I've got some, I'm just dabbing into the red, bringing that over here, a little bit of yellow. Just tapping the brush. Yeah, a little bit more yellow. And I'm leaving some of that background color there. It gives quite a nice little delicate tree. Uh, hello, uh, wait. So 20 pound per painting, that's around a thousand pound in paintings. Um, what, 50 times 20? Is it? I can't even think, my head's just on the trees. I've got trees going through my mind. <laughs> uh, Duncan, you're still here, how you doing buddy? Keep watching Bob, he does trees with the one inch round. Yeah, hey Bob, did, uh, Bob. Oils of Mick, did you see why you did you see I use this? Absolutely awesome, I'm keeping that. Oh that's nice. That's nice. It's getting colourful now, isn't it? It's getting colourful. We'll keep that dark in there. Can you see? You can just barely make out these twigs. That one you can see a bit more of, but it's, it's worth doing. It's worth doing. Okay. Now let's make some, let's do something around here. I don't know what we'll have in here yet. Maybe some bushes. We'll have a big tree. Over here, we're gonna do some. Okay, let's, let's go into some sap green. Let's have, um, I think I want them a bit darker, a little bit darker. I'm probably just nick a bit of the brown actually, couldn't I? Brown and green, oh yeah, that's nice. Learning to use all your um, paint on the board is, you know, I'm getting better at that. Yeah, that's, that's a nice color. Okay, so we'll just throw. I've got a tiny little, tiny little fan brush here. I'll go down to about there. Another one. Let's have another one here. This one's, this one's off the page. We'll have some stuff in front of that. Um, kind of like a pen tree. Ah, yeah, that sounds beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, the cam looks fine from where I am. Bang in the middle. I'm watching on the iPad. I've got it bang in the middle, and it's bang in the middle of my iPhone. I think. I think that's right. That's it. You, that literally is the edge of the canvas, just here. So hopefully that's right. But thank you. Okay. Is that better? Hopefully it is. 
Okay, now what? We'll do some little trees and stuff. Maybe I'll put a cabin down here or something. So I'm doing like an old cabin. What have I got on there? Try this, try this brush. I'll do a little cabin here, I think. Let's get this locked down. The cam is fine, don't worry about it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I didn't think, I thought it looked fine, yeah. Okay. I'll just put a little shack here, so I'm just, Putting some stuff here, it doesn't really matter what's there at the moment, so that'd be covered. But yeah. I'm gonna just put some green around here. Right, let's think, let's think what, what else can I do? Um, let's get this bit done over here, we'll put some land in. I suppose I could do like a little I don't know, I might do a little waterfall there. Could do a little waterfall cabin, fill up all this with stuff. Just get some, make some green colour. Might try this one with some bushes. Must be my eyes though, I wasn't focused. <laughs> maybe, Mick, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Right, let's get some paint thinners out again, because that really helps. Do you know, I've had this bottle of paint thinners. I've got this much left. This is odorless paint thinner. And I've got that much left. Yeah, I've been dipping my brush in it. But I've had that for about nine months. Something like that. Right, shall we get some dark? Let's put some dark in. Oh, that makes some nice little bushes. Look at that. Just trying different stuff out here, guys. Look at that. They're like little, um, tiny little bushes. And this I used to paint houses with, it's a fitch for the little tight areas. Oh, let's do that one again. Yeah, we can put some highlights on there now. It's like loads of little bushes. I like it. All right, okay, let's add some highlights on them. Ah, oh, two different brushes I've used tonight then to create two different kinds of stuff. You should do a little stone bridge in the distance, that would be kind of cool. Maybe, we'll see how the time goes, but a bridge I have never done before. That could be a good one to add the list, a bridge. A bridge. Right, I'm gonna do some, um, let's just knock up some lighter color. Putting some in here. I must remember to do reflections as well. So we can just put a bit there and we'll get that other brush out and we'll do there. And we've got some big trees there, so I'll just put some there. Right, I've got some red here. I'm going to go. I'm going to this red that I've got here with this ochre. Mix it all up and put some little little Put 
put some little, scratch some little twigs in there. And some little twigs sticking out. Okay. Right. Sorry if I'm not keeping up with the um, comments. I'm really lost in this painting. Uh, thank you for the um, gift. I think someone sent me a gift. Um, I've got a gift goal up here. If you can please help, that would be fantastic. Also, you can subscribe. I have one subscriber. What about a deer or stag? Um, possibly, let me get everything out of the way off my mind. Actually, to be honest with you, I wanted to do a deer and a stag in the sunset. I nearly did that tonight, actually. Um, I wanted to do a sunset with, uh, you know, silhouette trees and everything, and a deer just standing there or something. So maybe, maybe. Right, let's go into this brown. Depends on what time I've got left as well. Let's put some, um, let's just put, lay some land in here. Bring this forward. Let's just lay some land here. Okay. I'll put some highlight on that before I do that. I'm just gonna pull down this, let's do this reflection thing. Um, where's my reflection paintbrush? There, okay. Yeah, there's quite a lot to this painting really. Um, I'm tapping the screen and lights are not sending, I'm so confused. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know, TikTok's gone a bit mental I think. I just rejoined and it works now. Okay, thanks, Jamie. You should stream on TikTok and Twitch or something at the same time. You can find more people. Yeah. Do you know what? I've got a um, I've got a computer next to me that I spent about well quite a while ago. Spent a bit of money on it, and I was just started to stream on YouTube. I done I done two streams at the same time, and my computer broke, so I need to get it fixed. So something I'll look into. Well, I'm just pulling this down now. I'm gonna make some water reflections. Just pull that down. You see how that just makes brilliant water reflections. This is the magic. Shh. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that amazing? You can literally pull this, pull this any way you want to. You can move this paint that's on there. And you've got instant reflections just like that. Right, while I'm here, I'm going to get my bit of tissue. And I'll put some highlights on that. Let's just put some highlights on here. That was a bit, a bit of a biggie blobby, a biggie blobby bit that one. So just go over that again. Yeah. Right. So I'll put a little bit of colour down here. Let's 
go like that. I think I'll just have the land there and have that flowing through. I don't think a waterfall will be, I think a waterfall might be a bit too much. So I'm just gonna pull down here. And a bit of colour. Bit of ochre. Just reflect that in the water. Right, okay, let's have a look. How do I message someone on TikTok, by the way? Um, if you used to look at my profile, um, you should be able to, underneath it should say message, yeah. Because you got to follow someone, I think. Although, although the other day they uh, changed it so you can have people message you, I think. But, uh, Sabalicious, that looks amazing. Thank you so much, and nice to have you here. Yeah, we just restarted the stream because um, we had a few problems. But, um, so I'm just pulling down there. And we'll just make that water reflection there. And then we'll just put, we'll just, let's pull that down a little bit more there. Right, so we'll put some land in. Let's just put a little bit of land in here. And we'll put some highlights on. Uh, Bob Ross has reincarnated, I see, nice job. Thank you very much. Who left the boss out? <laughs> uh, nice to see some new people in here. Do stick around. So I've just put some highlights on here. If I can get it on there. Yeah, look at that. Just a little bit of mud. Same as that side, really. So I can pull some of that reflection down as well. Just a little touch of what I've just put on there. Pull that down. I'll just make it look a bit more realistic. There. And then go across. That just blends it in. There we go. And you've got some nice little rocky muddy stuff. Mark McCusker, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, Jamie, I don't know if I'm being stupid, I don't see message anywhere. Okay, um, yeah, it's strange. Underneath my profile picture, if you just go to me, it's normally under there. Someone that you're, someone that you're following, you're both following each other, it's normally got um, message, I think. But anyhow, um, if someone just sent me a gift, then I appreciate it so much. Um, I might have missed it. Any gifts, followers and everything, I really appreciate. Okay. Just think I need, I need a little bit of green there. And then I'll do that bit again. That's what I was missing. There we go. Yeah, I really got lost in the painting just before the you know, restarted the live. So easy to get lost in these paintings. It's all concentration as well, you know, because I'm reading and reading the screen. Um, Sabalicious, thank you so much for the little lightning strike, much appreciated. Uh, thank you so, rem so much, Blood Nut 710, just got the number one gift badge, thank you very much. And Sabalicious number two, Thank you very much. Nice to have some new people here. Do keep tapping the screen. Don't forget to share down there. Even if you press share and then copy link, that really, really helps. Thanks, guys. Let's put some... Let's put a big tree. I've made my mind up. I'm going to put a big tree here. Let's have... Let's have him here. He's leaning out. Need a big one. Mm. 
needs a big tree. I would kind of need to come around this side for this last bit. It's awkward for me. It's awkward for me to get there. Okay. Okay, we got that. We got the idea. Let's give him a let's give him a little foot there. Right, let's get some highlights on that. So I've got some brown, just some brown and white mixed up together there. And we'll pull. I might have to come around this side to this, so bear with me guys. I hopefully you can see, I'm just, hopefully you can see, right? Because I'm right-handed, so it's quite difficult. <laughs> see what I mean? Okay. So, I'm just putting a bit of white paint on the edge of that tree to make it look sort of rustic and why is this so difficult? <laughs> so difficult. Okay, I'm gonna have a cap in here so you won't really see much of that. But we can do some little, um... okay. Uh, that's amazing, thank you so much. Now this is art, not like that post-modernist crap. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the number uh, the gifts again. If I miss any gifts and followers, then I really, really appreciate it. It really helps out. Okay, maybe just a little bit up here. Yeah, I think I'll do like a little shack here, just right down in the corner. I think. Jamie, thanks for the squirrels. Much appreciated. So I'm gonna go into my script brush. And we're gonna put some, we'll put some little limbs on this tree. So I'm gonna get some paint thinner as well, just to thin some of this down. I'll show you guys in a minute. So I've got some, just some brown, burnt umber paint into some thinner. It should help me, help me be able to paint it on a little bit. Of, Maybe there's one there. Some little limbs coming out. That one goes off the page there, look. I need some more thinner. Uh, thanks everyone that's following, tapping the screen, sharing, gifting. Thank you so much. I'm painting away and I can't really look at the screen at the moment, read your comments, I'm sorry. obviously I need to look at the painting there we go thanks everyone for your comments much appreciated yeah do you like the mountains so uh, it was a new sort of look tonight I'm getting there guys I'm practicing and practicing and practicing and I think I'm getting there my artwork is for sale do check out, as there's a lot of you in here at the moment, do check out um, underneath my profile picture, there's a link. And that link will take you to wonderful places and you can buy my paintings and all sorts of stuff. There we go. That's enough for him. Right, let's put a few little leaves on there, shall we? Uh, has, it, has it been an hour and a half? Yeah, something like that. Uh, thank you very much, Sam Hunt, for the gifts. I really appreciate the gifts. It goes towards paint and everything, and uh, I keep missing them. I just keep seeing them flick up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, so let's put a little bit of green on here. Find the right brush. I might just use a little fan brush for this one. We'll just use some sort of light. Let's go into the yellow. Get a bit of yellow on there. Uh, Mary, thank you very much. Mary, thank you very much. Love it. If I've missed your comment, then I'm sorry. 
I'm just busy, busy, busy bee. All right, so I've got a bit of green. You see how the yellow really goes green, just a touch of green. I want some yellow tints in this. And I'm gonna drop a bit of thinner on there. Just dab the brush. And I'm hoping this will be the color I sort of want. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, picked up, you've got hair on the end of the brush. <laughs> Just little bits here and there on this one. This one's alive. This one's really alive. Just done a little bit, just gone into a little bit more yellow there, just so you can see it over the last tree behind there. Just delicate little leaves. And there we have a happy tree. An old happy tree. Um, yes, absolutely. Um, Martin, yeah, Bob Ross Technique's brilliant, love it, absolutely. That's all I've done is watch him over the last couple of years. I started in March. Uh, Jamie, thank you very much. Okay, thanks for the gifts guys and thank you for, for everyone being here. Let's see if we can um, get the likes up. Please tap the screen if you, like the sc if you like what you're seeing. And the share button down here, even if you used to press share and then just copy link, that really helps out. Oils from Nick, thank you so much for the gifts, much appreciated. Cherry, always watched Bob Ross as a kid. Yeah, I only discovered him a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, but it's brilliant because I'm on like a series six and I've got so much to watch, so much to watch. I'm not going to do any more to that because I think it looks quite cool. Apart from that little bit there. Okay. Right, okay. I was going to do... I was thinking about having camming down here, but I think I'm going to leave that out and just maybe do some more trees. I don't think there's quite enough room. Maybe that's one for another, another thing. I'll maybe just a few more trees here and a few more shrubs. So I'll do that, I think. So let's just add a bit of dark. I've got some dark here, I'm just tapping. I'm being really good with the paint tonight, there's hardly anything on there. I'm like trying to use up everything that I've got. Oh, one thing I've got to do is put this, clamp this down properly. There we go. Uh, use it to watch all the shows and made a bit of paint, yeah. Good lad, looks amazing. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. I think one of the hardest things to know when to stop adding detail, absolutely. How often do you go live? It's normally two to three to four times a week. Um, it just depends on like how many canvases and how much paint I've got, basically. So, I, I, you know, I'd love to do this all the time, but I'm just adding a bit of black down here. But, dark. I don't really know what I'm going to put here yet, but just needs to be a bit darker down here. It's very awkward for me to get down the bottom because this this lump here, that's why I had it forward, but I'm making do, I'm making do. You're so good, I love this. Oh, everyone's being so kind, thank you so much. Thank you everyone. If anyone's followed um, liking the stream, gifting, thank you, because I'm looking at the painting. So, right, let's think what we want down here. That little brush I was using earlier was quite good, so I might just add some more of that there. We had some sort of greenish shrubs over here, so. I'm just dabbing these in, a bit dark, we have a bit of light on there. So, are you, I used that brush earlier, 
So yeah, um, tonight, although a few missed it, <laughs> I used this. This I found in my kitchen drawer. And I done all this lavendery dark with it and it worked fantastic. It's a, um, is it a pasty brush or something? But I'm using it again and it feels great. It feels great. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts, much appreciated. I have got a gift goal somewhere. I think there's a gift goal somewhere. And a subscribe goal, if you want to subscribe to me, it's just there. And don't forget to check out the link underneath my profile picture on TikTok. All right, let's put some little color down here. Just putting some color in, I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna have some lighter color as well. Some yellows. And at the front there, we can have a, let's try this, try this green. I really need to move this. Very difficult with that bit there. I wanna get, try and get an easel that's flat, so the front goes up flat, if you know what I mean. Let's see if we can get a bit of bright, brighter green down the front. So maybe yellowy. No, it's still moving. It's still moving, it's very difficult to do that bit. Keeps moving. Sorry about this, guys. Okay. Got a nice bit of colour down there. It's quite a nice bit of colour. Yeah, that's got a bit of depth as well, hasn't it? Um, there's very lots of new lots of new people in here. A small cabin on the lake background would totally complete it. Yeah, I knew I was going to do a little cabin. I was going to do it here, but I feel. I feel it's for another another painting. So I'm just bringing that round, and then we'll add some little. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the colours in this one. Really happy with the colours. Let's just put a bit of highlight on this. Oh, this! I need a new easel. I'm trying to balance this and clamp it in place so I can actually reach the bottom because the trouble is the knife hits the bottom of that so let's just put a, a bit of highlight on there okay look at that okay let's think about some water lines i'll just take some brown first and just put a bit of land up here A little bit of land that you can see. Maybe that goes around in there. Goes off into the distance somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna grab some white. Just put this is tiny. I'm literally just grazing the canvas now. You probably haven't even have to see that. That's just a little bit of white, just to fill up that. So there's a little bit of land there now. It kind of completes it. All right, let's get some, right, I'm gonna try and be brave here and use some liquid clear and do some kind of water line down here. I normally use the thick white paint, but this could go wrong, but who knows. I wanna try and learn how to use this liquid white a little bit more. Thanks everyone, much appreciated. I can't read all your comments tonight. Happy trees, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Aisling Leona just come the number one gift badge. Thank you so much. If I've missed, missed gifts, then um, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. There is a gift goal somewhere around. I think it's there, I think. So yeah, that would help out, thanks guys. All right, let's just put some little water lines in. So I'm just literally pressing that really quite hard into the canvas. Let 
and we'll do some over we'll do some over this side as well so although that 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 land is going slightly down you still have to keep your knife straight so I'm putting the tiniest bit of uh, magic white on here. Right, I'm gonna clamp this back down now. I hopefully can. <laughs> um, and Anissa Bryan, the talent is our real. Oh, thank you so much. Sorry I can't read all your comments, everyone, but. So I've got some little where the water would be just running off there. Happy little accident. Just blend that out. There. I've got them lovely. And you've got I've got a little hair down here. Use the brush to get it off with. Blend that out. There we go. I really like doing walk the water. Really sort of come a long way with the water. Let's just put some sparkles over here. Another little sort of water line. That was a bit big, that one. But that's okay. Being the liquid clear, a uh, liquid white, you can move it about. There we go. Uh, thank you, everyone. The joy of painting, absolutely. Uh, Debbie, Debbie Robinson, beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Fricks, I've been watching Bob Ross. This is great. Same, same. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. From for for all the people that's been here from the start, I know you're there. And uh, there's lots of comments, so I'm trying to keep up. But I appreciate you all. Thanks for the gifts. Thanks for the new followers. Thank you for the pressing the share button down there. And just even if it was just copy and link, lovely jubbly. And don't forget, you can click my profile picture. That'll take you to my profile. And underneath, there's a link where I get my paints. It'll take you to wonderful places. You can support me. You can see all my social media. So yeah, guys. Well, I'm just gonna put a few little, gonna make sure this is flat. If it's not flat, like I just done there, I scraped across, just blend it out and do it again. This is one thing that um, I actually quite, I actually find quite hard to do is keeping a straight line whilst doing these um, water lines. Uh, gorgeous, thank you so much. Very Bob Ross like, it is. He is an absolute legend, I'd love to have met him. I really would have. Let's just think where, where this water lines may be. And Bill Alexander, of course, the person who taught Bob Ross the wet on wet technique. I don't, I don't much up here. Just like little sparkles. See if I can just get a few down here. That's enough. That is enough. There. Okay. Just a little bit of contrast down here. Well, I'm going to stand back and have a look at this for a minute, guys. It really brings the water to life. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, just a little thing. Uh, Mr. Frith, that's unbelievable. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm just going to stand back and look at the painting because you should do that every now and again. I must say, 
it's looking all right. <laughs> We've got a big, big old tree there coming out there. I think I prefer the tree than the shack there, to be honest. I think the shack would have been a real focal point on the left. And it might not have dragged you in towards the mountains where I think it's got distance now. You know, a bit of distance. So. Okay, let's just scratch a few. I've just noticed something I can do. I'm just gonna scratch a few, just using the palette knife, just a few twigs here and there. Maybe there's, oh, I've done some over there already. Just some little, it's very easy to do. Let's have that one coming over, over the yellow. Twigs and stuff like that going on. Yeah, I think we're nearly there, guys. It's been a interesting stream. I had, I had an idea what I was going to do, and it sort of turned out half decent, I think. Um, that looks so realistic, and I love the sky. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. I'm glad you all like it, and it's nice to meet some new people tonight. Um, you can support me by subscribing, um, helping me with my gift goal. Um, tapping the screen, sharing, come and see my, my um, social, other social medias. Uh, Pixie Rose, how you doing? Nice to have you here. That looks lovely, Cole. Thank you so much. Lovely to have you here, Pixie Rose. Have you done any more paintings, Pixie Rose? Have you done any art recently? Right, I'm going to sign this one, and I am going to sign this one. And, but I'm going to look again to see if there's any more things that I need to do. That just needs widening a little bit there. If you used to be fussy, so... We've got the sort of gist, gist of the look there. I mean, I've got the foot of the tree. Sort of hidden, really. I could make it exposed. I could make the foot of the tree more... I don't know whether to leave the foot of the tree or make it so you see like the foot of the tree, you know, sort of the roots going in. Who have a little um have a little say in the comments. Um yes, Richard uh, Watkins, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Bob Ross is an absolute legend. I'm still watching these episodes. I'm on series six out of thirty, I believe. I've got so many to watch, but I couldn't help but give it a go. That style of painting, I just could not help give it a go. Uh, Sebalicious, thank you very much for gift. Black is your friend in the fall, fall going for edge darker. Yeah, absolutely. It's perfect as it is, less is more. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so I've got some, um, I've got some paint thinners. And I'm gonna go into the, uh, into the red. Still got quite a bit of brown on, on there, but that should be okay. You can still see it. Bright red. Let's just take this over here. I'm just gonna sign this off, guys. C and an M. So yeah, a lot of my paintings are for sale. Um, if you look at my um, link, you'll the link underneath the profile picture on TikTok. It will take you there. They're literally up on, the where I'm selling them is on the eBay at the moment, so I get my own website. They're up for a starting price, but you're welcome to make an offer on any of my paintings. And I'll be glad to get rid of some because I've got a stack. Now this one will probably be drying about two, two weeks-ish. So there's lots more to put up that I've been painting recently. Thank you, Pixie Rose. Uh, princess only fans. I love the UK accent. Thank you very much. It's perfect as it is. Thank you. 
June Berry, uh, Joe, beautiful, thank you, Martin, TY for this evening. Oh, you're very welcome, thanks for being here. Uh, hops is this watercolour. No, it's oil paints. It's oil paints. And I've literally just finished, I think. I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to have a little stand back. I'm going to have a little stand back. The, the oil paints, um, so going over it, how I started was a white canvas and I applied some white gesso, which is like an acrylic, and that's water based and it dried really quickly. Let that dry. Then I coated the um, canvas in some magic white, which is actually sort of thinned down white. Um, and that, that stays wet. And then you paint all this on top of the wet white paint. And that enables you to blend, like blend the water on there and all sorts of stuff really. I'll tell you what I could do actually just before we go. I can just add a little bit of highlights to these trees. I just feel like it could do with some little kind of highlight. It's just a little bit there. Just the just the tops. I'll keep it dark down the bottom, not too much. That just adds a little. I'm glad I noticed that because. That's something I do, but obviously that just gives it a little bit more depth. You can put some little highlights on little bushes there. Anything that sort of helps it. There, let's see, just, that just helps it all come alive really. Uh, Jamie, thank you very much. Um, sorry I've missed this one tonight. Oh, it's okay, Pixie Rose, no problem. Uh, Sebalicious, uh, really, really good talent. Thank you so much, that's very kind. Fantastic, I've, I've taken up water, watercolour painting. Oh, good, good. Keep going with the art, that's what I say. Uh, Jamie just got the number one gift of badge. Thank you very much, Jamie. Love how light and pasty this this one is yeah how long did this take okay without chatting and everything probably without chatting yeah. probably just over an hour but i've chatted i've had to stop the stream and restart the stream i would say just over an hour in total maybe maybe just like an hour and 10 minutes but yeah not long really and i've had so much fun How, I'm really happy with this one actually guys. Let me have a look at, stand back and have a look. <clears throat> yeah, it's got depth. I think again, one, it's one of my best actually. Um, I can show you guys what I've done the other night, one I did the other night, this was Bob Ross inspired. <clears throat> done that one the other night. Very like, I, I do like the mountains on that one. This one's still drying. Actually, it's not far from dry by the looks of it. But yeah. And I've got lots more. These, lots more to go up for sale and everything, so. Oh, it's getting cold in here. So I'm gonna make a move in a minute. Uh, Mr. Fritz, blimey. Good work, it's great, thanks buddy. How long, yeah. <laughs> I saw that one just on your page, yes. Wow, thank you. So I'm really pleased with myself tonight. Do you know why? Because I've used like six brushes, I think. Literally this little lot here. Maybe seven, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, eight, okay, eight. That ain't bad though, because I think the longer, you, the more you paint, you get used to sort of sorting your brushes out a bit better. And the palette, the palette's looking good. Not a lot of paint left over. And quite a lot of room left on the palette, to be fair. So yeah, that, that has created that. Along with these. <laughs> Have some likes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it there, guys, because it's getting really cold in here. I, I put the heating on for like uh, literally an hour. 
before I came in here. Because I'm in my little summer house. And now it's got to a point where I can see my breath. Can you see that in front of the camera? Anyway, you can trust me. It's cold, my feet are cold, so I'm gonna say goodnight, everyone. Uh, Brack, is that Brack? Uh, how do I start with painting as a person that never held a brush? My honest opinion is get that brush in your hand, um, watch some videos, you can watch some of my stuff back, uh, you can watch Bob Ross, my stuff is all uploaded to YouTube, so you, you can go and check that out, um, every live stream I've ever done, you can, and the good thing about YouTube is, you can watch all of them back, and you can zoom in, you can use your phone to zoom in wherever I'm painting, and you can pause, you know, think oh, I'll have a tree there like that, or whatever, so that's a good way to get going. yeah that's okay yeah yeah so if you want to um subscribe to my youtube channel just press my profile picture link up here um yeah press that and it'll take you to my page and underneath there that one link and that one link takes you to everywhere that i'm where i'm at basically yeah right guys i'm gonna think i'm gonna call that one done and i'm gonna go and get in the wall and i'll show you a bit bit better guys right everyone say hello youtube okay everyone type in the chat hello youtube because this will be going up onto youtube and here you are whoever says hello youtube will come up here because this is where i read the comments mr frick i'll sub to your youtube and if you could do the same oh thank you very much mr frisk pick straight oh, hello youtube there we go brack hello youtube hello youtube there we go uh, Jamie, hello again, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm still editing the um, the last night stream and putting it into videos, and I've got to do the same for tonight, so I've got a busy day tomorrow, along with the dentist tomorrow. So, yes, yeah, so I have one of them nasty root, root canals. Okay, so let's give you a bit of a close-up here. Yeah, so you've been about a foot away from the painting. So if we just go about, I don't know, three or four foot away. You can see there now. Might just do a, um, a quick shot for YouTube actually. So, yeah. There we go. Right, guys, I'm gonna say good night. Thanks to everyone that's been here tonight. It's been nice to have your company. And thank you for the gifters, the followers. Um, much appreciated. Have a decent night. And yeah, relax and have a relax tonight. I get a good night's sleep and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Maybe tomorrow, actually. Actually, I probably won't be on tomorrow night, but maybe the night after. Good night. Thanks, everyone. Take care.